Hey guys, Steven with SBK Reptiles here. Uh, I get a lot of questions asking about maternal incubation and so figured I'd shoot a quick video and give you guys a little more insight on it. And so here it is, here's one of the females. As you can see, she's pretty alert and active. Um, interested in tagging me and protecting those eggs. Um, she's still got a nice little half coil on them. Um, so she left the eggs probably to come drink some water. Um, I've already checked the temperature of the eggs. They're um, in the high 80s. It was uh, right about 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so the point of the newspaper, uh, this idea was given to me by uh, Yazer or Yazer Spitfire back when he was online um, to kind of give uh, the female a little ecosystem, a little hide that she could um, that she could uh, control better than just a tub per se. Um, so she's not fighting all of the temperatures. It kind of holds in some of that heat. Um, just a little bit and so as you see she's um, checking me out um, I'm gonna close this up and then I'm sure when I check on her again in a couple minutes she'll be coiled up wrapped around the eggs um, I'll actually show one more female that is in a tub right below this girl um, and give you guys another look at a clutch of maternal incubation um, also this clutch is almost about 30 days in and notice they're nicely shriveled up um, so the whole eggs need a whole bunch of moisture need to be super plump and huge it's pretty overrated um, I like my eggs to shrivel up just a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and then I'll show you guys the next female that's funny uh, so while I was fil filming uh, the last female uh, this girl actually went right back to her eggs because she could tell that I was poking around. Um, there she is. Um, use a, a little coat hanger. Uh, it's easier to maneuver than a snake hook for situations like this. Uh, where I just need to lift the newspaper. This girl's getting ready to strike. So we'll see if we get that on film. But I don't want to piss her off too much. So I'll go ahead and let that close up um, so there you have it. I mean you see that she's got a nice wrap she was completely off her eggs I kid you not less than two minutes ago while I was filming uh, the first part of this video she went and coiled them up and now she's looking to take me out so let's see maybe I could find another female who left the eggs or is looking for water or is maybe going back to the eggs um, give me a second guys Alright, so here we have what looks like a female just returning to her clutch of eggs. We'll go ahead and take a look, see what's going on. Same thing, alert, active, ready to mess me up. So it won't bother her, there's nothing really to see that would help you guys. Um, let's go on to the next female. Alright guys, this female is around uh, day 35 of maternal incubation. So let's see if I can just move her over just a little bit and show you guys how much the eggs actually dry and shrivel. And so there you go. Let's see if it'll focus. And to the touch, the eggs aren't super soft. They are, they do feel kind of hard. When I get in there, they're not super squishy. Um, so yeah, super plump eggs, super hydrated, uh, quite a, overrated. Um, females do a great job, for the most part, doing uh, maternal incubation. As you can see, they're real alert and active and ready to uh, protect those eggs. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and finish the video off with this uh, female albino Darwin wrapped around her clutch of eggs. Um, she's right around, I think, day 20-something, uh, so almost halfway. Um, she's been doing a pretty good job. This is her first clutch ever. 
She's got a lot of white. So, yeah, there you have it. Not much to it. I mean, I simply give them, um, it depends on the cage or setup I have for the females. Um, in terms of what I'm doing for them to lay eggs. This female happened to be in a 32 quart tub. So I put cypress mulch down and removed the water bowl just before she laid. And she laid and wrapped them and so I left her in here and gave her this newspaper hide. Uh, other females in bigger cages, uh, larger animals, I uh, put an actual styrofoam box in there and cut a hole in it and put either cypress mulch or moss in there um, so they have somewhere to lay their eggs. So that's it. If you have any questions about maternal incubation, feel free to comment, um, give me a call, message me, you name it. Uh, here to help. All right, guys, Stephen with SBK Reptiles here. Have a good one.